Hello and welcome. Right, so in this video we have a safe and uh, this safe is at my old house. We've currently moved to a new house as you can tell there's no oak worktops to ruin and there's no, you know, there's no composite sinks to destroy. We're in a new place and uh, I'm renovating it. However, today I had to go and empty my old house um, and basically I found my safe. I'm like, yes! The batteries are flat. There's no charge in this at all. So I asked my wife, why is the door shut? Like, if, you know, you don't really use it, so why is the door shut? You know, it's in a cupboard, locked cupboard. Yeah, yeah. Well, can't find the key, can't put the code in, and I know in here there's passports at the very least. Like, not going anywhere, but kind of a passport in the UK, what, 100 quid each? And I've got one, I've got four kids. Well, well four, four of us, including two kids. So, need to get in the safe. So, looking at the safe, looking at the lock, it is a wafer, a wafer barrel. Apparently a wafer lock. So I've been on a lock picking site and they've said it's a wafer lock. So, you know, I've, I've been playing with this with picks before and I, I've struggled um, to get it, well, struggled to get in. However, However, we're going to have another go. So, uh, the, the, the key, uh, let's go back a bit. Lock picking has been something I've always been interested in. I always fancy myself as a bit of a locksmith. Um, I've never, it's just one of those jobs I've never, like I've always just fancied it. Um, and being able to pick locks has been one of those things that you kind of want to do. And you know, I one of my friends, had to break into his daughter's house because she left the keys in there or something or other. Anyway, he managed to pick the lock and I thought, oh man, that's cool, I really fancy doing it. Anyway, he had one of these cheap lock set, lock picking sets. Like this, you know, with this, and he had some plastic locks. Anyway, I was like, do you know what? This is a skill that I think might come in handy. So I went out and bought exactly this set. I think it was like 12 quid from Amazon or something. I'll put a link in the description. Anyway, I bought these locks and I bought all the training locks, the clear locks. And then I was just like, anyone got any old locks? On Facebook so people were dropping locks around me and I've been popping padlocks and stuff it's just a hobby and my wife has moaned like hell at me about picking locks because while she's watching TV all she hears click, 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 and we're going yes and you know it's 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 been it's, it's annoying um, but it's quite addictive and so like I encourage anyone to have a go at picking locks and for the first time in my life getting in this safe is quite important so should we see if we can do it? I can't find my tripod because I'm currently hunting rats in the garden and it's got a trail camera on it and so I've got to kind of get a bit makeshift with this so I've just just bear with me and we'll, we'll, we'll get to it. So before I start I am using this thing it's called a snowman I believe like I'm not an expert in picking locks at all like I'm just I'm just a hobbyist uh, so this is a snowman and the, it, it's it, it's good um, because because with a wafer lock, they're not like your normal um, your brass pin kind of lock. Um, these are like wafers, um, and they're in both sides of the lock, and, and they're tensioned. One would pin down like like you, you normally have, well, six maybe a six barrel maybe, and you'd have three going downwards and three going upwards, and to drop the ones below, you kind of have to. It's kind of really hard to explain. I'm going to say Google it. But this is the tool because you can do both sides up and down um, at the same time. Because if you use this normal lock, this is normally this is my favourite go-to pick. Um, but that's good for just picking your normal single-sided um, ones. So yeah, so this is what I'm using. I think it's called a snowman. But anyway, let's just let's just go with it. Let's just see how we get on. And I'd like to thank Hovis for sponsoring this video as I use a loaf of bread as a tripod. <laughs> oh, this is this is so terrible, isn't it? It's the most spongiest thing in the world, but we'll, we'll, we'll make it work. I do apologise. I've also got to try and do this while, um, yeah. So anyway, so this is a tension wrench or whatever you want to call it, and then we're going to put this in in here like this and this in here like this and then we're going to just put some tension on it 
and then wiggle like hell. Oh. See if I can get in. Now all your experts that actually do this will be laughing at me. But you just kind of, you got to keep the tension on it. Oh. Hang on. Normally it And you kind of just rake it up and down and hope that as the as the the wafers engage. But we also got to try and get this in as well. Come on, damn it! I'm by no means. Also, apologise for my claws. I've been working on my car and. All the other gubbins. Let's try this this way. I'm right, trying to keep my arms out of the camera as well. So, All right, let's just get that in there like that. Get Mr. Snowman in. was popping back then so I must have got a few out of sorted oh. Come on. oh damn it ah 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 I think I've done it it's turned just keep the tension on I think it's done well, the lock's definitely moved Ha <laughs> ha, look at that, you beauty. We are in. So, there you have it. I'm completely shredding the lock in there, but that's it, that's it. Huh. There you go, and let's just, uh, what we'll do is we'll just turn that back like that, so that's all the wafer's gone again. Then we'll lock it, so you ready? We'll just see the pin. That is now locked again. Should we have another? Should we have another go at that? Let's see if we can do it again for the second time. I might have an idea. I might just see if I've fluked it or if I can do it again. Ha! Done it again. Look at that. And there we have it. So there we go. That was a doddle. So anyway, thanks for watching. Please make sure you like, share, and subscribe, and uh, enjoy the channel of all my useless, pointless tips I've given and shown and whatnot. So thanks again.